All right, so the air conditioner and my Jeep Cherokee, this is an old Jeep Cherokee, it's 2001. Uh, the AC just suddenly stopped working one, one day. It worked the day before yesterday, and now today it doesn't work. Uh, I figured I'd go ahead and share a little information with you. Maybe your AC just stopped working. Um, first thing off is is that um, when it comes to AC work, um, you have all your AC uh, lines and everything like that, and you have a compressor. Um, you got to be kind of familiar with what I'm talking about to kind of understand what I'm talking about. But with my car here, I know for a fact that uh, did a little visual inspection to see if the refrigerant was leaking out of it first. So I started looking at all the lines, and what I'm looking for is like an oily line or a green oily line. That means it has dye in it, but it doesn't necessarily have to be green. It could just be oily. And in looking around everywhere, I don't, I don't have anything that's oily. And I went and looked in the condenser that's right here in the front. It looks like the radiator, but it's actually the condenser for an oily spot also. There's nothing there either. So right away, that's like step one is to do a visual and see if you have a uh, refrigerant leak that you can see. It's not saying that you don't have one in the evaporator case that's by the dash over here, but uh, a quick visual under the hood and in front of the car. Um, but what you can do now is you can actually see if maybe you have a bad low pressure switch, okay, which is this guy right here. Okay, and an easy way to tell, this is really, really easy. Um, this is even a way to even tell if your air conditioner, like your compressor still works, if you still have refrigerant in the car. If, uh, if most of it works, you can go to this thing, find it, unplug it. Normally they're just two wire, it's a two wire, uh, two wire switch. And all this, this thing does is that when the pressure gets so low, it basically won't let the, uh, the air conditioner turn on. Uh, the powertrain control module is actually what this thing's connected to, and it um, it actually all it is is a switch basically that opens up when the pressure gets low. It's just this thing's reading reading a pressure. So when the pressure's low, it, it won't turn on. It won't tell the compressor here to engage the clutch. Okay. So what you can do is you can actually get a paper clip and uh, bypass it and uh, see if you can get your compressor to kick back on and the AC to work. And so, you know, I got a little paper clip here. I'm gonna jam in the terminal, see if the compressor will, will cut on, okay? <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna start the Jeep and uh, the AC is on right now. And I'm gonna show you that the compressor clutch right here is not engaging. Jam the paper clip in it like that. You'll see that the, the clutch is engaged. Um, now I'm going to take it off. Stop. All right, I'm going to cut away for a minute because that fan's really loud. Take <coughs> okay, so uh, what you can do is you can. All right, so with the paper clip jammed in it. What you're gonna to wanna to do is let it run for a minute and uh, make sure the clutch is engaged on the compressor. Go in the car and see how the AC is working. If it's nice and cold like it was before it was broke, you probably don't have a leak, which is a good thing because the leak uh, it can be very, very expensive because the refrigerant's expensive and to fix it, it's, it's expensive. Okay, so this tells you that your compressor works and you don't have a leak, your clutch works, um, it, it's really good that you probably have a problem here, okay, with the low pressure switch. Now these things are usually really cheap. Uh, for the Jeep here, they're eight bucks. And uh, they probably don't go over 30 bucks for 
everything out there but so what you can do is go on a little test drive and make sure things are working another thing is is that you want to make sure that your fans are working usually a fan is kind of its own isolated little thing if it works or not if fan doesn't work normally AC will be cold for a little while and then it'll get hot right away and the car probably start overheating also but what you can do now is okay after you've driven it around a little bit with this and it's nice and cold and it works fine um, if you really want to diagnose this pressure switch right here your next step is is uh, you can just buy one and replace it or you can get a multimeter like I have here okay this is an old multimeter so I don't like to turn on to like convince it <laughs> and you're gonna stick it on continuity okay it's a little continuity symbol if the camera will pick that up maybe continuity when you have it on continuity Um, when you have it on continuity, most meters will make a tone when you get the uh, the probes and touch them together. Okay, and that just means that you have a connection, uh, like a solid connection, like like this metal, like metal to metal is a good good uh, good deal. Okay, like here to here. Okay, so this switch it only opens up when the pressure is low. All right. So what you can do is you can stick this on the terminals in the switch and see if you have continuity, okay? And I don't. I have nothing. I'm going to show you with the new one if this works, that it makes the... It closes the switch, but see, so it doesn't do anything here, so it's not... The switch isn't... Either it has low pressure or the switch is bad. It just doesn't move anymore inside of here, so... More than likely, since the AC works when I bypass it here with the paper clip, you get no continuity here. Like the switch isn't doing anything, so more than likely this piece is bad. Okay, a lot of times these things uh, they just unscrew. This one uh, already loosened it up, so I'll just screw it off. Okay, and they're made to come off. To be serviced. Let's see. There's two little pins in there. I don't know if the camera probably won't pick it up. This camera's not very good. And uh, I guess it's a little two pinner. Okay, and then you have like a it's a straighter valve. There's your valve. There's actually a little seal down here. You probably want to replace that when you get your new one. Just to show you. There you go. So. Here's my new one. Get the new one. It's gonna screw it right on there. This one is plastic, like this thing's plastic, and that's aluminum. I screwed on there by hand. And then I'm gonna continuity test it. So the switch in here should be closed, and it should uh, because. It should be closed if I technically have the right amount of pressure in here. Okay, if it's normal pressure, it should be closed. So I should have continuity. So I should get a tone out of my meter. I'm gonna test it. All right. So with the new one on there. switch and that switch is closed because the pressure is correct let's have a bad sensor or bad pressure switch tighten it up just a little bit don't take much put the thing back on the connector back on start the car and it should work no problem Cut away for that fan again. All right. Well, hopefully you, uh, that wasn't a little too like so confusing. This is a pretty raw video. I'm just making real quick out in the driveway. It was uh, it's something really simple to try to 
mess around with so hopefully that helped you out hopefully it gave you kind of an idea of what could be wrong with your air conditioner and uh, how to kind of test the low pressure switch or kind of diagnose a bad air conditioner and uh, this, that's probably the best case scenario as far as AC not working could be a fuse but usually if you have a fuse blown it's because you got a bigger problem all right so a little uh, eight dollar a switch failing I'm cool with that uh, if you have any questions, you can hit me up on Instagram. You can DM me there. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Or you can leave me you know, a, a comment down in the comment box down below. And uh, if this uh, was uh, helpful at all, you know, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, that's about all I got to say. <laughs> you guys take care of yourself and have a great weekend.